Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 Gun Loves and Tentacles video. What's up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I bring you another legendary weapon guide in Borderlands 3, the Mocking Nothingness. Now, this is a new Molly Wan shotgun that comes with the new DLC, Gun Loves and Tentacles. Now this weapon comes with the red text, A Hole Would Be Something, which is a reference to an 80s movie called The Never Ending Story, where the Reich Brother makes this reference. Now, the weapon also comes with some pretty good damage. Let's go over it. We got 5,3600 damage, 47% accuracy, 45% handling, 2.7 on the reload speed, fire rate 1.32, 12 in the magazine, 20% weapon charge speed, which is really good, and it's an anointed beatmaster, so we get extra 100% damage after using the rack attack. Now, in order to get this, you're going to be farming Grimog. It's going to be in Cankerwood, so if you have the DLC, you can farm this guy. Pull up your mat, head over from Zerlagos to the Cankerwoods, and we're going to be headed right over here to the Hammerlocks hunt where we're going to be hunting down the legendary Gamak. Now in order to get here we're going to first fast travel to the Cankerwood. We're going to make our way all the way around here to where there's a little bridge. There's a checkpoint and we're going to come over here and we're going to form this guy. This is the checkpoint right here. We're going to head across there and then we're going to hang right. We're going to form the legendary Gamak. Alright, let's do it. Now in my bit of farming on Mayhem Mode 4, it took me quite a while. It took me between 15 and 20 runs. I kind of lost count, but I know it was at least 15 runs before I got this to drop. So it may take you a little while. You might get it on the first try. You never know. But like in all Borderlands games, in order to form, and this is how you form, just cut out to the main menu, come back, it will respawn if you are new to the Borderlands series. Now this is the run where I actually got this bad boy to drop. So, here we go. Legendary Grimlock, you are going down. And finally, we're gonna get our legendary shotgun. Now, this is pretty freaking cool, a Molly Wan shotgun, at least in my opinion. Now, now that you have the weapon, how well does this weapon perform in the end game? Well, we're gonna head over to the proving ground of the instincts Mayhem 04, we're gonna see how well this weapon performs. Once again, the Molly on weapon can switch between radiation and incendiary, and this is a charge weapon, but thank goodness we have extra charge speed. So I will be doing more forming for this weapon, see what better versions I can get. But the charge time is not too bad. It's around in between one and two seconds. So I'll say about 1.5 seconds on the charge speed. And then what it's going to do is basically shoot a projectile is going to similarly work like the flacker so the special effect is for charge shots coming out of this weapon has consecutive explosions similar to the flacker as you can see right here in this video now the reason why I took it over here to the trials of the instincts because these jabbers are very susceptible to fire and I personally like being over here. You have a whole bunch of different jabbers that come at you. So you can basically try all bunch of different elements on these enemies as well. Now as you saw previously at the beginning of the video, this weapon is capable of actually doing some pretty good damage. But it all depends on your build. Now even if you don't have an incredible build, or even if you're not with flat, you can still get pretty high hundreds of thousands of damage with this shotgun. Look, shotguns is in a pretty good place in Borderlands 3, and this is a pretty good shotgun that you should definitely farm and add to your collection. Like I said, it does some pretty good damage as well, so you won't be disappointed in spending your time when you're farming this amazing new weapon with the new Gun Loves and Tentacles DLC. So yeah, that's pretty much going for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I hope you truly enjoyed it. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you really want to help out the channel in a video and help our community grow, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video and leaving a comment down below. I look and I listen and answer all your questions, so hit me up, say what's up, and I'll get to you back as soon as possible. Hope you and your family is having a great day, and as always, 
Have fun, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.